Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a collective haul video. I haven't done a haul video in like super long, so I thought I'd share with you guys some items that I purchased over like the past several months. So these first items I got from Dwayne Reed actually because they were having a sale. I think it was buy two for five dollars or buy one get one half off, I'm not sure. But it's these two products and these are my absolute favorite shampoo and conditioner by Garnier Fructis. It's the color shield um, shampoo and conditioner and I love these um, shampoo and conditioners just because it really nourishes my hair and also since my hair is dyed you guys probably can't tell because it's wet right now it keeps the color of your hair more vibrant and it protects it as well it says here on the bottle that it's acai berry antioxidant grape seed oil UVA and UVB protectant and it protects color and nourishes for vibrant shine. These next purchases are from Bed Bath & Beyond and the first one is of course my falsies. I always always have to have um, my falsies. This is my go-to mascara as you all know. The second item is this uh, Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam Foundation and I have been loving this product. I've been using it recently and right now I'm using it right now. It just gives you like an airbrushed finish and it's very very lightweight it doesn't feel like I'm wearing any foundation at all actually and this is in honey beige 310 and it also is SPF 16 which is also great and what I love about this is that it's there's a pump tube and you just apply some product on the back of your hand just so it's like about a walnut size and just apply it on your face with a brush and it really gives you a flawless finish. I think this one retails for about um, 8 or $9. I'm not sure. You guys can double check on that. But I know at Bed Bath & Beyond it's cheaper than most drugstores. So the last product I got from Bed Bath & Beyond is this uh, Maybelline Age Rewind uh, eraser for the dark circles. I don't have that many dark circles but I do have some and this is actually really good as well. I like how the applicator is like a sponge tip and then you just apply it underneath your eye and wherever um, you have blemishes and just blend it out and I think it's a really good product actually. So far so good it's been working for me well. So these next products I got from Bath & Body Works I saw that they were having a two for five dollar sale on their mini candles so I I managed to pick up four different candles for $10 altogether. The first scent that I got is this Eucalyptus Mint. It smells so amazing. It smells like a spa. The next candle I got is Sandalwood Vanilla. This smells really good too. I just love anything vanilla. The next scent I got is Frosted Cranberry. And this is one of my favorites that I found. It smells like, it just smells like Christmas, you know, like that, I don't know, like that winter feeling, if that makes any sense. And the last candle actually burned like the past two days. And this is Peach Bellini. I actually have this scent, or I had this scent for the wallflowers and it just smells so good. I love like fruity smells, it just makes my rooms just smell so good and like, I don't know, refreshing. So these last items that I purchased are from Ulta and the first one is of course this Eucerin Moisturizing Face Lotion with SPF 30 and I actually got this product because of my friend Christine. Um, I saw that she uses this in her videos and I realized that I don't use a moisturizer for my face which is really bad and I know that using a moisturizer with SPF 30 is even better for your skin and helps you and also protects your face. So I picked this one up at Ulta. I think this is about $9 and it's 4 fluent ounces so it's pretty pricey for how much product there is but you really don't need to use a lot. You just need like one pump. The next item is this Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream and I've heard a lot about this and I was debating which BB cream to use either this one or the um, L'Oreal one or the Garnier but I happen to get this one and this is the 8-in-1 Beauty Bomb Skin Protector and it's basically like um, a tinted moisturizer I guess and it has SPF 30 as well and I've used this 
couple of times already and I think so far so good. When applying only one layer of it, it only gives like, you know, sheer coverage but you can build up the product more to make it more, you know, opaque. This is actually only one fluent ounce so they don't give you a lot of product and this is kind of pricey, it was about $10. So I try not to use this too often, but when I do, you actually, you don't really need that much product. The next item I got is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. I only have, this is actually my second one that I own. I have one that's uh, hot pink, but this one is like a deep red. I'm actually using it right now. I love, love, love these lip stains. They work so well for me. And I love how the application looks like just like a crayon so you just color it in your lips and for me it lasts for pretty much the whole day I have to reapply maybe like once but um, all in all it's very good and the next lipstick I got is the lip butter by Revlon and this one is in 085 sugar plum it's just a really pretty pretty plum color I love these lip butters as well because it's very creamy and moisturizing. Lastly, I picked up these cute headbands from Ulta as well. I'm wearing one on my head right now. They're just these plastic headbands and they have the teeth on the inside so it's secure in my hair, especially for my hair because I have really, really thick hair and sometimes it's just hard to manage my hair so I just put on this headband and you know, I'm good to go. Sometimes I have those lazy days where I don't want to do anything to my hair. I don't want to flat iron or blow dry it. So with this headband, it keeps my hair in place. So that concludes my collective haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on any of the products that I mentioned, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys!